What is up, YouTube? A welcome back to the channel, Panda here. Let's talk about this weekend because I think we've got some fun stuff in store. And welcome back, guys. So we have a pretty interesting banner this weekend. Nothing special for your blue or gold summons. That's just a typical 2x banner. Uh, but we have some other interesting stuff happening, and that is with the special ancient summoning. We have a 10x on two really, really good champions. The first one here is Demi, which is a cultist lord. Now, this is the opposite of Morrigan, um, where Morrigan is your regular legendary lord that you can get her from any summons, and Demi is an ancient exclusive uh, lord, um, which means you can only pull her from ancients, right? So if you don't currently have a cultist lord and you have a lot of those really good cultists like Vierna, you know, etc., Cerberus technically, um, etc., like there, this could be a very good uh, chance for you to pick up something really, really good. Her lord skill is very strong. You've got that 15% basic attributes. You've got 30% to stunned, immobilized, controlled al enemies. And then you have the third part of the lord skill, which is when faction allies kill an enemy, you increase their damage by 12% for, for five seconds, stacking up to three times. So you get basically 36% damage. If you look at Demi, um, I'm sorry, if you look at Morrigan, hers is good as well. But hers is just 25% and it's only AoE damage, which for the cultists is basically all the damage that they deal, right? Like most of them. Um, but it's still only 25% in comparison to 36% when you have this max, which if you're using cultists in an AoE place, like for example, Gear Raid 1 or in Immortal Codex, for example, like with Cerberus, um, you know, this th you're going to be getting a lot of kills. So odds are you're going to have a pretty high uptime on this third part of the large skill. So she's also just a pretty good uh, DPS in general, from what I understand. She actually does some pretty good damage. Um, her kit's not terrible, right? But most of the time, legendary lords, it's about the lord skill, right? It's there. Most of them are not very crazy on the combat field. Some of them are, but most of them are just kind of like, I'm here to do special passive -y things. Um, but to me, is definitely really, really good. Uh, if you already have copies of her, I mean, potentially getting to like A2 could be really good as well, right? Because you get that additional 5% AoE damage. Um, the rest of them, I don't think are super crazy, uh, because again, most of the time you don't actually place them. Um, I'm not super familiar with Demi, but I would think that if you had one copy of her or two copies of her, it could be worth it to go for that A2, because again, that extra damage is really nice. Uh, and then of course we have probably one of, if not the best healer in the game in Eunomia. Um, she is phenomenal. She's brand new to the game. She is also ancient exclusive. She is one of the Arbiter factions. So she's in here with our big fatty boy Praetis, uh, and others, of course. Um, but she is a, I mean, a ridiculous healer. She was in pretty much all of the top teams in the Immortal Codex for the Wasteland Titan. She does a phenomenal amount of healing. She has a dispel. I mean, she's got the whole kit. Let's just quickly go over the kit because I never actually did a video on Eunomia. Uh, her talent is each healing will bounce two extra times, which each with each bounce granting attack-based healing to an ally with a 35% healing multiplier. And then, of course, she has her basic, which is just a single target heal. But again, when she heals, it's AoE because it will bounce, right? So you can get basically three allies healed with the single target heal of the basic, which is really nice. Um, then we have her first passive here, which is dispels all debuffs from three allies in range every 40 seconds. And this goes down to 30 seconds. So it's a passive dispel, which is really nice in the Wasteland Titan, um, especially if you pair it with, you know, uh, Medan and an Elowin, right? You've got three dispellers there. You're just getting a ridiculous amount of dispels. You're going to have very few of those stacks on like the entire thing, which is really, really cool. Uh, then we have our second here, which is during the effect of Holy Light Euphony, the healing multiplier of the bounced healing is plus 40%, going up to 60%. And the Holy Holy Light Euphony is her ultimate. Um, so it basically just it makes her, her talent stronger while her ultimate is active, which makes sense, right? Then her ultimate is when activated, she increases attack speed by 100 and grants attack speed increase, which is plus 100 to all allies in range, lasting for 20 seconds. The effect becomes permanent after the skill's second activation. This, I think personally, 
is what makes her so good in that Wasteland Titan for a couple of reasons. One, she just does a ton of healing in this because after that second activation, it's just like Abomination. It's permanent. And her ser Seraphic, ser Seraph? Seraphic Echo um, is during the effect of Holy Light Euphony. Her healing multiplier is bonus for her uh, bounce seal, right? Well, this is going to be permanent, which means it's going to always happen. It's also a very quick ultimate, right? It's 700. Um, and it's auto, which normally you would think kind of sucks in this play because you want to kind of specifically activate your heals or your ultimates at certain times. But again, after that second ultimate, it's going to be up 100% of the time. And you're going to be able to build this second ultimate up before you even get to the actual phase of Wasteland Titan, which I think is personally what makes her really, really strong because she also increases the attack speed of all of your other allies which is crazy. If we go and look at her range, her range is pretty decent as well, right? You've got, what, four, eight, 11 total tiles. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, but ultimately, I think she's very powerful. One of the best healers in the game. She also has that passive dispel, which is really cool. Um, and then we have her A1. So if you already have a copy of Unomia, getting her A1 is probably really, really crazy, right? Because you get this additional one bounce. So you're healing four targets with every heal um, instead of just the three. Because again, you're going to have that ultimate permanently during that Wasteland Titan uh, big phase, right? Uh, her A A2 is just some healing effect, nothing crazy. Her A3 balanced healing has a 10% chance to dispel all debuffs from allies. Again, there you go, boom. If you have her A1 or A2 going for another copy could be crazy for the Wasteland Titan. She could probably end up being almost a solo dispel champion, right? Of course, you want the other heals in there. Elowen's very good at healing and rage regen, so I'm not saying don't bring them, but... Uh, having this is going to basically make it so that nothing has that debuff, right? A4 is just additional rage. We love that for our healers. A5, after casting Holy Illumination, it, yeah, after casting Holy Illum Illumination, increases the healing multiplier by 50% for 10 seconds. So Holy Immun Illumination is this buff right here. So basically every 30 seconds, you're going to get an additional 50% um, healing multiplier that lasts for 10 seconds. So it's going to be up about 30 so percent of the fight which actually isn't terrible um but yeah she is a ridiculous healer i mean ridiculous right if we go and look like she's she's got f almost fives across the board right 4.9s 4.8s nothing below a four you know it's crazy very very powerful and because she's a 10x champion there's a good chance you're actually going to be able to get her which is really really exciting the biggest thing that kind of sucks about this though is it is Ancient Summons. Odds are you probably don't have a crazy amount of Ancient Summons. I know myself personally, um, I have seven Ancient Summons, um, and I'm close to an eighth, right? So there's a chance that I might be able to uh, get this done, especially because we also have Immortal Codex starting, right? So I go, I could go in and get some of those rank rewards, or not rank rewards, but like point rewards um, just for doing the fights. I might get a couple of those, right? Um, and be able to get another couple from the shop, assuming the shop remains the same. So I might be able to do like a 10 pull and just kind of see if we get lucky. I might do that. Again, I'm not 100% positive about Demi for my own account, just simply because I have Morrigan. Um, but odds are I won't hit the Legendary Lord, but I might have a chance to get a Unomia, which could be exciting. I could also end up picking up like an additional copy of Vladov, for example, uh, which would be really good as well. I currently have him at A2. I'm going to get A3 with the uh, event. I have. I will definitely have enough to get the A3. Um, so if I were to get another one, A4, I might just take them to A5 and just get it done with, right? Um, I do have the uh, the stones to do so. So that might be something that I do. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but ultimately, guys, what do you guys think about the summons? I think it's a really good banner for almost every account. I definitely think most people are going to want to summon here. Um, of course, that may be slightly different if you're one of those people that really, really wants a specific lore. Like, for example, if you're holding out for either another Twin Fiend 10x and or a Sulcadens 10x, don't think we're going to get either of those anytime soon, but that's just my own personal opinion. Maybe we will. I don't know. Um, but ultimately, I think this is going to be a really good weekend to summon your Ancients if you've been saving or if you just have a couple lying around. It could be ultimately really good for most people. But guys, that's going to be it for me today. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Don't, don't forget to leave a comment about if you're going to summon this weekend. And make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can be notified when all of my content goes live in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.